Hello lovely year ones, how are you all doing? So I have a message from Miss Smith, Mrs McAllister, Miss Blythe, myself and we all want to say an absolutely huge well done for all the amazing online learning you've been doing and a big thank you to your grown-ups too, you've been amazing and we will miss you terribly and hope to see you soon. Now the reason why I'm here today is because I'm going to read you a story. Do you recognise this book? Do you recognise this character? That's right, it's the fox from the book that we've been looking at this week in literacy and our online learning, The Fox and the Star. So I'm going to read you the whole of this beautiful book now. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Once there was a fox who lived in a deep, dark, dense forest. Because Fox was small and the trees reached far higher than the tips of his ears, he was timid and afraid to stay straight far from his den. And yet for as long as Fox could remember, he would wake at night to the cool, calm light of the star. Together, they made paths through the trees, star brightening the shadows ahead. Star was Fox's only friend. There they are, making their paths. Star would light the way for Fox as he foraged for beetles and ran wild in the tangled thorns. Star looked on when Fox chased the rabbits and raced through the thicket. Can you see the clever outlines the illustrator has created of all these little rabbits? And even when the rain fell, Fox felt fine. He asked Star to shine through the clouds so he could dance to the rain's tapping beat. And all of Fox's happiness was bound to the flickering light of Star. And so it had always been. Then, one night, Fox woke, and everything had changed. Shall we find out what's happened? Fox called out for Star, but Star did not appear. The forest stayed cold and dark and very still. And in the days that followed, Fox dreamt that Star would return, but the darkness drew closer. And without Star, there was no reason to go outside. Worried and lonely, he huddled in his den. Days and nights passed in silence until something stirred in the forest. The beetles were on the move, creeping and crawling to where Fox lay. Closer and closer, the beetles came, seeking the still body of Fox in the belly of his den. The smell of a thousand beetles ignited Fox's hunger, and he faced the darkness and feasted on the tasty beetles, and he felt much better. It was time to go and find Star. Will he find him? Let's see. Fox peered around the gloom and could just make out a clump of thorns. Have you seen my star? Fox asked the undergrowth, but the thorns did not know of any star. Next, Fox came across a colony of rabbits have you seen my star? He shouted down the burrows. But rabbits have got no time for foxes. And suddenly, Fox was beyond the forest he knew. He looked up at the trees. Have you seen my star? He cried. 
but the trees were too tall to hear him. And Fox found himself in a quiet, empty clearing he'd never seen before. He sank to the ground and fell fast asleep. Fox woke to the sound of falling rain. He wanted to know if the rain had seen Star on its travels, but he did not know how to ask the raindrops. And when the rain stopped, he had a feeling that something had changed. Let's find out. There he is, waking up amongst the leaves. Fox called out to the forest, to the trees and the leaves and the beetles and the rabbits, to the tangle of thorns and the life he'd left behind. Where did Star go? He stayed still, listening to the noises of the forest, watching the leaves settle onto the ground. Look up beyond your ears, spelled out the leaves. What's he going to find? <gasps> a sky full of stars. How many do you think? More than 50? I think so. Fox could not believe there were so many stars. His heart was full of happiness. He knew that somewhere out there was a star that was once his. And beneath the blazing sky of stars, Fox made his way through the forest. The end. And there he is, a more resilient and braver fox through his journey in this story. Thank you for listening, lovelies. Take care, stay safe. See you soon.